What up, what up, boys and girls? It's your boy Blue coming at you with a new uh, video today. Um, we're gonna do uh, something a little different too today, and uh, I want to go over which I think, in my opinion, is the best free to play characters without acquiring their uniforms. Um, and this is basically characters that you could only get through uh, bio selectors. No, no uh, native tier two characters are going to be on this list. Um, no um, bio sub characters uh, and stuff like that. Uh, so we're going to and 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 no x-men characters but we'll get to that when we get there uh and the reason why there's not going to be no x-men characters on this list is because x-men characters are not very easy to obtain um so that's basically why we're not going to go over them because you have to get x gene selectors and you cannot acquire x gene selectors without spending money so this is why there and and there's only very few characters that you can acquire through getting biometrics through the game itself. So these are these are much harder characters to come by, and that's why um, they're not really going to be on this list. So <clears throat> we're going to immediately start off uh, with some honorable mentions characters that are good but just just didn't make the list because this list is uh prime you know basically most of the characters on this list are going to be um p for pve purposes these are going to be characters that are going to get you um a lot of value out of pve not the no pvp basically this is all pve characters um as in like world boss um shadowlands and um abx and just basically that so um but we're gonna start off with the first honorable mention on this uh is gonna be it's gonna be right here it's gonna be mantis mantis is a, a fairly good character that you can acquire through biometrics. Uh, she has some pretty nice skills, uh, that, and, and she has passive healing, which is always really good for a character. She can do some decent Shadowlands. Um, she might be able to score you some small stuff on uh, small scores, 50, 60,000 in, um, in, no. Uh, in ABX for the most part she's she's not gonna do too much more she won't probably I, I don't believe she could do too much world boss uh, she might be able to do some really low stages maybe like stage one of like certain bosses but she's not gonna get you too much value in world boss but all the rest she will get you some value um, let's move on let's move on um, of course, Loki, without his uniform, uh, he used to be one of the best characters in the game uh, because of his illusions. So Loki's definitely, as long as you can keep Loki alive, he definitely will get you some Shadowlands clears. Uh, he can get you some ABX. And I don't think he will be able to do any world boss, but he might surprise you at some low end stuff and then who else did I want to shout out on this for possible um, oh and there we go that's America Chavez America Chavez is a very forgotten character um, but she will definitely uh, get you some decent Shadowlands um, I mean, if you if you need a combat character for ABX, she won't score too high, but she will get you some scores, uh, medium, not very high, uh, and then she 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 could 
do some um, some world boss stage. It's low end, you know, under ten, with like Proxima and stuff like that. But other than that, she she's not gonna get you too too much more than that. Um, and that's basically all the the shout outs for these character those characters without uniforms and their potential. So we're going to move on to the the, the top ten from here. And I kinda cheated with number ten because uh, I put all these characters at number ten. And basically because universal characters are always always the best they're, yeah, they're going to be able to do a lot for you in Shadowlands because they could clear basically anything any type of stage as long as it's not a super villain stage uh, that you know where you require super villain stage so these three guys are going to get you some, some decent clears all three of them can do um, universal male you know universal male um abx of course the best one is going to be heimdall uh he's going to get you the best scores and um uh, all these guys might be able to do some low end um low end uh world balls but for the most part you know they're they're not going to do too high end and world balls they'll, they'll they'll get you some decent stuff going um and heimdall if if i'm not mistaken he does have no yeah he has blind immunity i don't think his leadership yeah it's just all defense leadership so yeah he's not even going to get you anything other than that um so these these are three that i would put at number 10 uh they're interchangeable in my opinion um but they're going to get you some pretty good value especially in shadowlands now we're going to move on to the actual nine characters that I believe you should go after if you were trying to build your roster. And a, a handful of these characters, people are probably going to be a little surprised. Um, but I put Morgan. I put Morgan at number nine. Um, and, and I haven't tier two this character myself, but uh, she she sits in a very special special place in this game uh, she's one of i think three or four universal supervillain females in this entire game uh so she's got a couple of abx she's got an abx day for sure um with the universal supervillain female she she's um and and that's that's a big thing. She 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 probably won't do any world boss, anything high end, maybe under ten. Um, but um, she, of course, she like I said, she's a universal character. Shadowland, she's gonna get you. She's gonna get you high end clears. Um, and and she she's really good for new new players especially, because uh, she does have the the self revive if you get her killed and she has some pretty good skills but she's just kind of she's just too weak basically her damage is just not there um but you're going to get a lot of value out of a uh, out of a universal character period if especially if you tier two them uh and like i said she has her abx day and she will get you some high-end shadowland clears um then i went after at number eight uh, i went after um uh, Kate Bishop, a very forgotten character, a very probably uh, it used to be one of the best speed characters in the game for a long time. Um, this character is going to get you some really good value in Shadowlands. She can do some pretty high stages. Um, she she's um, she does have she is a speed female, so she if you don't have uh, uh, you know any of the the premium. Uh, speed heroes for ABX. She, you know, she will get you uh, some ABX scores up into the hundred thousand points, um, and she, she, like I said, she's a good speed character. She's uh, really good. Uh, she, she could probably do um, some Corvus at fifteen at high end if you really give her a lot of love she's got a lot of good iframes 
that uh you know and she's gonna get you like i said she's just gonna get you some pretty good value period all around um and then that's that's kate the the the, uh, the forgotten forgotten uh hawkeye this is what hawkeye should be um and then we're gonna move on to number seven korath now korath is is one of the newer characters and um <clears throat> He's he's uh he's definitely going to get you ABX speed day, um, <laughs> which is a supervillain speed day, which is a very small list of supervillain speed characters, and he's gonna score you if you if you if you go, if you get a good rotation going in and you hit your damage procs, he's gonna score you two hundred thousand points. Uh, not only that, he 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 seems solid enough to do um, probably. You know, not super high um, world boss. Maybe stage 20 Corvus. Maybe like a stage 10 Proxima. Um, and, and in Shadowlands, he's going to get you a lot of value too. Because he is a speed supervillain. Um, not that it really matters that he is speed. But he is a supervillain. Um, which you're going to want. Because... Shadowland requires it seems like it requires um sometimes a lot of super villains and he he's he's gonna be a premium super villain for you uh for a for Shadowlands. Um solid character. He's just he's hard to play. He he, he he takes some he takes some skill to play, so he's not gonna be an easy character to play, but he's 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 a very solid character. Okay, now we're gonna move in to the middle of the ring here this is where we start to get some seriously uh, good high-end characters period um, <clears throat> and on this one um, surprisingly and this is without Minerva's uniform we're we're gonna put Minerva at six uh, because her being combat um, without her uniform her being just a combat character uh, of course her uniform puts her in a whole another level but her being combat super villain she has so much potential in abx uh just being combat and being a female she has she she could take over several days in abx if you're trying to build up your roster i mean she can take over um combat day she could take over um female super villain day and i think she can i th i think that's it i'm not really sure if there's another day that she can take over but she could take over two days period which is is premium for any character to be able to do if if you're still building up your roster she's pretty solid character unfortunately world boss she she can't do too much in world boss she can do proxima uh she might be able to do chorus uh, she could do proxima at stage i think i did it with her 30 31 i do believe um so she she can do some pretty high end proxima stages. Uh, she might not be able to do as as high for Corvus without her uniform because she has some um, her iframes. They're 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 they have gaps where you can get hit in in her iframes, and that's what makes her much harder character to to put her higher on this list without her uniform because um, the gaps are really huge, but. If you have a lot of dodge for this character, uh, and she does have a native dodge into her tier two passive, which, if you look at it there, I have almost 90% dodge with this character. So she is very high end for dodge, and you can you can get away with a lot of things with this character. All in all. Um, She's in the course in Shadowlands. She's she's definitely going to clear some high end stages. Uh, I would even say, uh, you know, twenty. She can probably go as high without her uniform. She could probably clear any any stage probably twenty to twenty five ish. Um, if if she's geared right and and you have the cards and the, just the, the sheer just the damage. I mean, 
but you know when you're building your roster for Shadowland, I mean, if if you can get ten good characters, she's definitely gonna get you some some good some good high end clears for you as far as you can go. All right, so we're gonna move on to a number. This is number yeah number five number five and i'm sure you guys think it's thing but it's not it's actually iron hammer iron hammer another forgotten hero uh, very solid character this is this character is very solid um i would like to put him higher on this list but uh the top three characters without uniforms or it just they just can't be beat uh unfortunately um in this list of mine iron hammer is solid he's gonna get you solid world boss ultimate clears uh upwards of stage 30 for uh corvus stage 30 uh, st at least stage 15 anywhere from 10 to 15 for thanos uh and he's gonna get you some some decent clears in ebony maw which is makes him very premium being able to clear three bosses uh he's maybe uh, i would say for ebony maw upwards of 30 as well um and that's that's three bosses right there he he can do abx uh universal day for you and to top it off like i said he's a universal character and shadowlands universal characters are premium they're gonna be able to clear basically any stage unless it's a super villain stage he will be able to clear it and a super villain stage or or a lightning resistance stage uh but he's he will be able to clear uh, uh, basically any other stage outside of that and, and and i could say with a lot of faith in this character uh because he has really good skills he has a self heal uh which is right here on uh on f not five i think it's three yeah, he's got a self heal on his skill. He's got insane eye frames, uh, really good damage, and probably one of the best leaderships for free to play character. Where he's got cooldown reduction and energy and energy damage and lightning damage. He has three things on his leadership. Only other character has three things in our leadership it's very few but off the top of my head is thanos um so yeah it, this is a premium character for a free-to-play uh, account um and through you know and, and, and like i said I, I would like to put him higher on this list uh but surprisingly i just couldn't um and you, I'll let you guys know why once I get to the the last four characters. But like I said, solid character all around. Going to get you lots and lots of uh, good value out of this character, period. Uh, and then, like, then we're going to move to Thing. Now, Thing, I would have never believed this character would ever be on a list that I would make. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people probably wouldn't put Thing on a list at all uh but surprisingly thing is a really good free to play character and on this list he's one of the few characters that you can farm for biometrics outside of um black bolt you can you can farm black bolts uh, biometrics and story and of course thing you can farm him through his specific mission on um <clears throat> on the fantastic four epic quest when you get to that point but without it you can still use bio uh, selectors to obtain this character um thing is um like i said he's he's a very solid character he he's gonna get you uh he's another character who can take over the combat abx days if you need him um he's gonna be able to do shadowlands at a high end stages as well uh and he's also going to be able to get you some 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 good world boss clears he can do three of the bosses as well which is a premium anyone who can do three bosses is a premium he can do proxima and i think i did it at a stage 30 with him uh he could do corvus uh, i do believe that was a stage 30 as well and i think i have like a stage 10 clear with him on um on thanos so 
surprisingly he's a really good character he could put out lots of lots of damage he doesn't have very many iframes but if you use his rotation properly you won't even get hit with this character uh and like i said i didn't even give him no love at all uh i i, I had no faith in him so much that i didn't even give him at least max star isos because i really didn't have any faith in his character and then i actually started playing him and i was super surprised and yeah uh he will surprise you uh for like i said for a newer character that i he does that i didn't believe he would be any good in the first place he has a great passive uh tier two passive that just buffs the crap out of him and any character who is a fantastic four character uh our fantastic family he has a, a good passive for himself he reduces lots of damage for himself and of course if you use him as his own leadership he has another 50 percent reduction to damage to, you know to def he has 50 percent defense and then he's got reduction damage there and then i think his tier two passive reflects yeah, it reflects physical, and it gives him more defense and super armor. This character is very good. Um, so, and like I said, you're going to get three world boss clears out of him. Uh, you're going to get him to be able to do some ABX, and of course, he's going to be able to crush any stage possible for Shadowlands that requires a combat character or a male character. Uh, so... You know, if you if you're looking for a solid combat male character or it's just a solid combat character, uh, I would suggest you invest in um, in thing. So now we're gonna move into the top three, and uh, these 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 uh, and 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 uh, these are the best. These are the best. And I know I said I wasn't gonna put any X Men characters on here, but I kind of cheated for Angel. Uh, and the reason why I cheated for Angel, and I, I would, I would put him at number two, but I'm gonna buy, I put him at number three, and and, uh, and I'm gonna say I cheated for Angel for one reason, because Angel's bios are, as an as an X gene character, are extremely easy to get. He's probably the easiest character to get bios out of any X gene selector character uh and on this list he's going to be the easiest character to get files for because as long as people are opening angel dimension rifts you can get files for this character you can as long as you have the energy and the rifts open you can get in one day if you manage to have just the energy and the rifts open for this character easily get a hundred you know biometrics for this character in one day and you know when we're talking free to play uh we're talking you know no mega star tickets you know six star tickets uh unless you get one for free yada 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 building up these characters is going to come straight up from just needing biometrics if you're not using mega six star tickets or just rank up tickets in general uh it takes a lot of biometrics to level up a character uh from one star to six star uh, when you do the math it's it's a, it's a lot because you're talking from one to two is 20 then it's 40 80 what 140 i think or 120 i can't remember uh the five star like I, I'm looking like a fool. I can't even remember the numbers. It's going to be upwards of 500 biometrics. Uh, period. Because, like I said, 20, 40, 80, 160. Uh, I can't remember how many bios it takes to go to 5 star right now. Um, wow. I do know to go from 5 to 6 is 320. And I can't remember what 4 to 5 is. Um I think it's 180. I can't remember, but just just going from five to six is 320 bios. Um, and like I said, thing you can acquire his bios through the mission. That's only 10 bios a day. With Black Bolt, I think there's two missions. That's 20 bios a day. With the Angel, you can acquire. Like I said, as long as you have the energy and the rifts open, you can acquire hundreds 
of Biles in a day if you have the resources to farm this character. Um, and Angel is he is a premium he is an absolute premium uh, because on this list he is the only character on this list that is pvp meta as well and it's not because he's good but he has the pvp meta leadership which is the debuff removal uh and don't be surprised and, and don't get it wrong angel's very solid in pvp uh so you're gonna get solid solid pvp out of angel you're going to get solid um abx scores from him out of speed day and i think that's about it uh for him if you don't have a, any other speed characters he's gonna score you you know uh, you don't even need more than a hundred thousand points because a hundred thousand points is gonna get you the rewards but uh, eventually angel can score you up into the three hundred thousand point range uh, if you really need him for scoring um and he's gonna get you solid world boss uh i would say uh, i would say I've never tested him beyond the few videos that I had, which is a long time ago. Uh, I would I would say he would be able to do stage 35 to 40 of Corvus, uh, anywhere from 30 to 35 Proxima, and and anywhere from 10 to 15 for um, for Thanos. Uh, and in, in Shadowlands, he's going to be able to do basically any stage for you uh, from 1 to 25, uh, and probably even 25 and up if, if you build him up right. He, he's a, a very strong character, a very strong character without his uniform. You don't need his uniform. He, he's got really good skills, lots of iframes. He's even got a damage accumulation, and he has a heal. Uh, so, I mean, you really can't go wrong with this character. This character has it all, just like, um, just like um, Iron Hammer. Um, so, I, I couldn't put him up any higher on this list because um, he is a bio uh, uh, X gene character. Uh, personally, I would put him at number two. Uh, but we're gonna move on to who's number two, which is Human Torch. Uh, yeah, Human Torch. The next non-uniform character, uh, this dude is, this character is really, really good. Um, he's gonna get you clears for Corvus. He's gonna get you clears for, uh, and Corvus anywhere from 30 to 35. Um, He's gonna get you clears for for coal obsidian, low end clears for coal obsidian because uh, you know coal is just he, he's a strange boss to fight, uh, but he will get you you know I would say anything under 20, maybe 20 at the highest. Um, he's gonna get you Thanos clears. I think I, I cleared like a 13 or a 14 with him. He might be able to go, you know, a few stages higher than that for Thanos. And of course, he's going to get you Ebony Maw clears. That's four characters, four bosses. He's going to be able to get you clears for. That's a premium, premium PVE character. Um, and he's got it all too. He's he's got a heals. He's got iframes for days. Uh, and he just you know puts out really good damage you build this character up he will not disappoint you um apx uh hmm. of course if you like i said if you're still building up your roster apx is going to get you blast day um I never actually tested him, but I'm sure he can score over 100,000 points, which is all you really need to to get the rewards. Um, what else? What, um, other than Blast Day, I mean, he won't really be able to do too much more than Blast Day. I mean, of course, you have no Criteria Day, which I forgot for all the characters. They, you know, they're all going to score you those points for no Criteria and all that, too, if you really, really need them. Um, but yeah, Human Torch is... He's the real deal for 
a free to play character of course if you've gotten far enough in the epic quest you can farm 10 vials a day for him as well which is basically nothing but it you know you can build the vials for him and of course with the vial selectors you can select him and uh, build this character up um, but we're gonna go to number one uh, in my opinion the um, best character in the game still especially when it comes to uh, a free to play character uh, and without her uniform and I'm putting mad claims on this because I haven't tested it but uh, even without her uniform if you build her to her maximum potential which is tier 3 without her uniform I still believe as a free to play character um n not including native tier twos even even including tier twos native tier two characters on that list if you were to include them uh, without a uniform i would still put her if you have her at tier three the best character in the game even without her uniform <clears throat> excuse me even without her uniform i will put her at number one and that's a bold statement and uh, i'm gonna prove that later with another video that she at tier three without her uniform is the best character in this game still uh sharon rogers is absolutely nutso in without even without a uniform of course her uniform makes everything so much easier um because of course the uniform you get all the buffs you know you get all the 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 buffs the, the extra cooldown reduction and attack speed and all that stuff but uh sharon is unbeatable as the free character the, the best free character in this game um she's the original thanos killer she she literally was one of the first characters who can even deal with world boss ultimate thanos and do it with ease um she you know she doesn't have any heal she she doesn't you know she she's got her her signature three skill which is a damage accumulation and and her five and her four are absolutely nuts even in this uniform still and of course uh her tier three her tier two passive is nuts and of course you got the tier three skill um and hands down in my opinion if you fully build this character up even not fully built even not even tier two'd uh all out of all the characters on this list she's gonna get you clears in every boss fight um she's one of the few characters who can handle all five bosses um she's and and this is unfortunately me having to talk about her as a tier three character um because i can't go back on my tier skill and my tier list for her and put her back to tier two but at tier three um she's gonna be able to kill uh proxima uh, and even though she's a blast character because she has uh, physical attacks as you can see she does have physical skills her five her two and her one are physical attacks her four is an energy in this uniform she's gonna get you proxima kills she's gonna get you corvus kills easily she's gonna get you Cold sitting kills she will get you thanos kills and she will be able to do um no in this uniform she probably won't be able to do it ebony mall because she only has one energy skill i don't know she might surprise i'm not sure she's she's got so much damage uh, i wouldn't be surprised if she can still do uh ebony maw even without her uniform um of course shadowlands she could do any stage shadowlands one through 30 you put her in there and she's gonna be able to do it as long as you work her rotation correctly she will be able to do it um and of course she's she's got abx days lots and lots of abx days she can do blast uh she can do blast 
No, 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 let me take that back because blast is for male blasting only. Uh, she's going to get you scores and, you know, no criteria. Uh, and that's probably it. I don't think, I don't think Sharon has any specific day towards her. Um, I don't know. What, yeah, there's a blast day too. I don't know what, what I'm even thinking. But uh, hands down, um, best character in the game with or without a uniform um so anyone who hasn't taken the time to build sharon is um missing out and i understand a lot of people play this game to um build their favorite mcu characters or comic book characters um 90% of those characters, if they do not have a uniform, they will get you zero value. Of course, this list would be a, a thousand times different um, if we were talking uniforms. Um, but Sharon would still be number one, period. She would still be number one if we were talking uniforms either way. Um, but if you're trying to advance yourself through this game a lot easier without giving yourself a headache because you're like man Thor sucks uh, and I, I don't know which uniform to pick or Iron Man sucks or Captain America sucks yeah that's because those characters require uniforms and some of them as in like Captain America requires this tier 3 still uh, because this tier 3 makes the character strong um, Sharon doesn't need that she's never needed that the tier 3 just made her outrageously strong um, but that's that's my list for uh, a handful of characters that um, you should probably invest in if you haven't invested in them to uh, basically jumpstart yourself forward into the game um, so I know this this list is subject to opinion um, but anyone will tell you Sharon out of this whole list is it's going to be the best character to go after um, period if, and like I said we're not talking native t tier 2 characters or bio sub characters just these are all characters you can acquire through bio selectors and like I said I did cheat with Angel but you can as long as there's riff, Angel Rifts open you can acquire lots of Angel uh, bios and build him up pretty quickly you would be super surprised he'd probably be the easiest character to build up uh, on this entire list um, but uh, tell me what you guys think of the list. Uh, tell me what you think some of these characters would be. And like I said, these are all the best characters without a uniform. Remember that. Uh, this list would be uh, 100,000 times different if, uh, if they had uniforms. If we were talking uniforms, the, the majority of these characters wouldn't be on this list besides Sharon. And... Uh, maybe still angel honestly um but this is free to play this is for people who uh don't have the the crystals to, to spend into uniforms so like i said tell me what you guys think of the list and tell me who which characters you would plug into this list uh that you think are better than, than some of the characters i put up here and and but just remember that um they you can't use their uniform for the list uh, but um, appreciate you guys watching the video uh, peace